If we got it, it would mean so much to us. I would probably pee my pants because we put so much effort into this. Uh, that's excitement, folks. Right now, students at Nashville's J.T. Moore Middle School need your help. The school's principal says one-third of his students live in poverty. Now, right now, the school is neck-in-neck neck with a school in Michigan in a national contest online. The winner gets $25,000 in grant money to give the students healthier lunches and a nicer playground. Fox 17's Eric Galvarez live right now in our control room to tell us how you can help these kids come out on top. It's a big deal. That's right, Scott. Now, all you have to do is vote online. We're keeping an eye on this very close race here in the control room on this computer. Now, it's shaping up to be a photo finish, but I got to tell you, unfortunately, right now, JT Moore is a little bit behind that Michigan school, and that's why they need your online votes right now before this clock runs out. Early Wednesday morning, JT Moore was beating Waterloo Elementary by just over 2,000 votes. By 2 p.m., Waterloo jumped ahead by 2,200. When this clock hits 10.59 p.m., the school with the most votes will win a $25,000 grant from Bridgestone. I'd love to teach kids the, the value of, of growing their own foods and just doing something important. Principal Dr. Gary Hughes says if J.T. Moore wins, he plans to use the money to build a greenhouse where students will grow their own fruits and vegetables to supplement their metro school lunches. The lunch food is... Okay, we can have something better and healthier instead of mystery meat. Hughes says for some of his students, it might be the only time they get to eat fresh produce. About one third of our kids come from uh, high poverty areas who receive free and reduced lunch. And we know statistically uh, those kids have a uh, less chance of eating healthy. They have to get canned, frozen, yucky stuff that does, doesn't even taste good and it doesn't even look right. Fifth grader Kevin Anderson has been recruiting online votes for weeks. Now he has his eye on the clock. And if we got it, it would mean so much to us. I would probably pee my pants because we put so much effort into this. While the principal hopes Fox 17's viewers give his kids one last push on the home stretch. If our neighbors care about kids as much as we do, our kids here, and care about our community and our state, we need all the help we can get. We ask that you reach out tonight, vote for our school, and um, the difference between first and second place is going to be your vote. Now, right now, every time we refresh this website, we're seeing more and more votes coming in. It's a really close race. More than 360,000 votes for each school, and just a couple of hundred are making that difference right now. Now, if you'd like to help, just go to fox17.com, facebook.com, slash Nashville, or you can follow me on Twitter, at Fox17Eric. Reporting live from our control room, Eric Alvarez, Fox17 News.